Trades Tutor and today we're going to go through volume of the cylinder. It's going to be a quick and easy video here so follow it through. Alright, we start with a cylinder. You can see it on the left hand side there. And What we're going to do is calculate the volume of it in cubic feet. The first thing we need is what variables are we going to use? Well there's two. There's the diameter and there's the height. So the diameter you can see right there and the height you can see right there. That's it. Alright, so we have the two variables. What we need next is a formula and it is volume is diameter squared times 0.7854 times height. Now there is a note here. All right, the diameter and the height must be in the same units. So whether that's in feet or inches or miles or meters or whatever you want, all you need to know is that the diameter and the height both have to be in the same units, otherwise this doesn't work. For our case, we're going to use feet because we're going to end up with cubic feet. All right. So there's your formula, and we'll do an example. A cylinder has a diameter of 2 feet 3 inches and a height of 5 feet 4 inches. Put those there, and now we have a problem. We can't use the 2 feet 3 inches as it is. We have to change it all to inches or all to feet. And in this case, because once again we're going to get up with cubic feet or finish off with cubic feet, we have to make everything in feet. So what we do have to do is take those inches and change them to feet. Now how we did that, we went 3 divided by 12 and 12 being the number of inches in a foot. We're just converting it to feet. Same for the 4. Same concept. Now we have numbers we can use. We can go 2.25 feet and 5.33 feet. So we go back to our formula Replace the diameter with 2.25 and the height with 5.33 and then just go and multiply them all and we get a grand total of 21.19 cubic feet. That's all there is to this. It's pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a good day.